Let me read you a list, Sean. Invasion of foreigners, severe economic troubles, division of the empire, empire stretched too thin, government corruption and political instability, loss of traditional values, weakening of the legions, the military. That is what combined to destroy the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire lasts a thousand years. We're not even close to a thousand years. Every one of those seven or eight issues is something we are confronting today. And Rome fell in 476 CE of its own weight. We have something going on in this country that we've never had before. We have a Marxist revolution that is destroying us from within while the enemy gathers abroad. And there is an access of powers against us right now. It's China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. This is no joke. China hasn't built the biggest navy on the face of the earth, military islands in the South China Sea, over 27 bases of different kinds in our hemisphere, a, a deep water naval base in Samaya, where my great uncle fought on Guadalcanal. You have uh, China with a base on the western coast of Africa facing us, killer satellites, nuclear missiles. You think they're building all that to defeat Taiwan? They're building all that to defeat us. They're not going to be satisfied with Taiwan. They're in battles now with the Philippines and Japan, even Vietnam. Uh, Australia's being threatened. Uh, unless you're Helen Keller, you can't see this and hear what's going on here. This is a big damn deal. And let me tell you something that viewers of this audience and others may not want to hear. We need to prepare for war against China. I don't mean go to war. I don't mean initiate a war, but they are preparing for war. We are completely unprepared as a nation psychologically. We are completely unprepared economically and immigration wise and securing our border. Our military is not prepared in the sense that they're pushing this woke ideology. Our military budgets do not reflect the threats that we are facing in the world around us. I want to say it again so the backbenchers regurgitate it. We must prepare for war against China. Not because we want war, not because we're going to cause war, but because they want war. They've only communicated it 10,000 different ways, whether it's violating our airspace, navigable waters, threatening our ships, threatening our country, threatening our people. What else can they do short of attacking? They're not going to be satisfied with Taiwan. This is a big damn deal. And we don't have the military brass in the Pentagon to deal with this. The Secretary of Defense or Secretary of State... We've never been so weak. That's what Xi sees. He sees what I see. He sees what the rest of the damn world sees. This is no joke. When you have the French, this guy, what is he, Vichy France? This guy stabs us in the back, Macron. Lafayette, remember Lafayette? He helped us during the Revolutionary War. He defied the, the monarchy. He joined Washington. He led the Battle of Brandywine. He got wounded. He was with us. The French helped us at the end of the war. Here's France, where we sent GIs to Europe to liberate France, and many of them died. And look what this bastard does to us, the president of France. He goes over to China at the height of tensions, stabs us in the back, says he will not support us. He's provoking the Chinese to act, talks about autonomy. You can stick your autonomy, France, as far as I'm concerned. Joe Biden, Joe Biden gets elected, putatively anyway. He's Mr. Diplomacy. Tells the world we're back. Mr. Globalist, Mr. Experience, let me tell you something. He's dragging this country into depression. He's dragging this country into war. Not because of what the isolationists say, but because of the opposite. We're not acting like a confident, strong country. And so people are disrespecting us. He keeps calling Xi. We don't know what he's telling him. But I can imagine what he's telling him. What do they keep saying? We don't want conflict. We want competition. Stop calling Xi. Because you're demonstrating to him how damn weak you are. We, the people, deserve a better leader than this and a better government than this. But this is what we put up with. It's absolutely unbelievable. That's it. I'm done.